Hi, welcome to my first review for Lemon Amiga. This game is called The Settlers. It came out in 1993. It's an adventure game, so let's have a look at it. Luckily, I remember the password to unlock all the levels. There are 30 levels in this game, each featuring different people with different strengths and weaknesses. Here they all are. So let's see. What about level level five? Level four. Level four, and then it's me versus another guy. I start, and away you go. So the first thing to do is to have a good look around. So there's rocks over there, plenty of woods to the north, desert to the south, mountains to the east. So let's place our castle in a nice central location, yep. take advantage of all those amenities. Now then, before we start building any armies, let's look at our general location. Hills to the south, and the enemy isn't on the map just yet. That gives us a nice idea of where we are then. Second thing to do is to have a look at our immediate vicinity. We'll have to mine those rocks and those trees. And clicking the special button there allows us to see where we can build the small houses, build small huts, and the large castle icons we can build much bigger, more complicated designs. Yep. So let's place a few guard towers, a few guard posts around the outside of our map, making sure that we don't accidentally yep. remove the big castle icons for now. And uh, apart from that, let's see what we have. Well, plenty of weapons, a little bit of gold, enough coal to be going on with, stone, 60 planks of wood, only 16 raw bits of ore. This is the this is the general location where we are. So let's set something up. Let's set up a blacksmith. So that right from the beginning, we can start churning out weapons and armor. Link that to the castle, and automatically you guys will come out and start building that. And then while well, that's in progress, let's also link up the guard posts. Again, let's have a look at the enemy. There's a nice gap between me and the enemy, so let's continue linking up those places. And the settlers will appear from the castle, bring out all the raw materials, and start building whatever we choose. It's a good idea to make a nice looping road around the castle and get those all linked up. Okay, we have a number of people at the start of the game, a number of warriors, people assigned to different tasks. So at the beginning we can more or less plan our way around the entire map and not have to worry about people or resources. Let's have a look. Still plenty of people, still plenty of resources. Whatever we haven't got, we can build later. So let's exit that. While we're waiting for things to build, yep. tweaking of things, that button, press gangs all the available men into the army. The top slider chooses how many men we want in the army from ordinary people. That button means they grow by learning these tools. And what shall we carry? Well, first priority, what shall we carry? Ignoring all these tools, weapons is the first priority because the faster weapons get uh, arrive at the castle, the faster those weapons will be turned into new soldiers. What else? Gold. Well, gold is quite a rarity, so there's no harm putting that. Number one, and then that's the chain of command. There with the weapons that we don't need. Click on that. That one should already be set up. And how much coal should I distribute? Well, distribute the same amount of coal, the same amount of grain equally. 
and the same amount of food for all the coal mines distributed nice and equally. In fact, let's get rid of that because I'm not going to build a stone mine. Um, nice and equal over there. And this option tells me how I want the knights to be scattered throughout my kingdom. Full house. Leaving it pretty good. Right, let's, in fact, let's change this so it's medium. And here we go. The uh, the first of our knights arrives from the castle on a successfully built guard tower. And the message arrives to say a new knight has occupied this new building. What that does is it extends the border all the way over here so that I can now occupy that area. Same with this one. As soon as a new knight occupies that position, ping, a message, new knight, and then we have all this region over here. So let's get that stone mined first of all. Let's click on uh, the stone mill, that's this one. Link it up there, and then we can leave him. Merrily chipping away at that stone. And uh, what about the wood? All this area over here is thick with trees. If I could somehow employ enough people to chop those trees down, I might be able to have spare lands build something else. So let's get built. Sawmill. It's chopped. You know it's occupied that area, which means I can mine these hills. So it's a good idea to set up a flag, usually in the edge of the, uh, the map. Link it up by right-clicking. We can send a guy out. This is a prospector. Send plenty of prospectors out so that we know exactly where to mine. Let's send out another one over here. Let's place a flag. Right-click. Click on the guy. zero perspectives at the moment, but the stone hammers we have 16, so 16 will be pressed ganged into being a geologist, a prospector, upon request. There's two spare guys, so I've got two spare guys that can be given that yep. job, so I'll assign one over here, and another yep. one over here, and they'll, they'll go out and start digging. Yeah, uh, you know, the blacksmith's occupied, so he'll start churning out swords and shields as fast as possible, which builds up my army. And what else? What else can we do? Let's have a look around here. And just waiting for the prospectors. Here he is. And he's found. Well, let's see what he's found. He's found stone. Well, given all that stone just above where we are, I think uh, we don't need to bother mining that. Let's just see if there's anything else in, the, in this area. And, well, more stone. Well, we're okay for stone, really. The uh, stone cutter's pretty happy where he is. So, what about the other bit? The other place. Let's see. If this area is any more rich in materials. And and good news, we have discovered coal, which is perfect. So now I know the direction that the coal is in. I can now plan ahead for that. Start building resources around it coming from that direction. So first thing I want to build above everything else in particular is to get another guard tower sorted out so that the, so the border will extend into that region. So I can set up mines. Now let's fast forward into the future and this is what I ended up with. As you can see, there's quite a few things happening. There's three blacksmiths there uh, extending the borders and this is the result of all that geological work 
quite a few coal mines down there. Three coal mines. I found a gold mine uh, over there, which uh, is now being mined. And uh, there's a farm to supply those mines. And the output goes to these two. These two, which feeds into the main castle. So basically, all the ore from the coal mines goes into those two smelting operations there, and uh, three coal mines. It's usually enough for every level, and the gold goes to the uh, the gold foundry, and they're supplied by the farm, which goes to the mill and then the bakery. Uh, all in a nice, neat location, so. That by the time the ore gets to these, gets to these, all they need to do is go straight into the castle. And again, all the blacksmiths are around the castle, so they can directly hands that thing. We've got wood cutting, two wood cutters in fact, which uh, supply this little sawmill, which again goes straight into the castle. Let's just link that path up. Uh, path up. The more paths you link, time it'll save you later on. And over here we have a secondary farm which once all this wood's clear will supply that bakery which will supply these two ore fields over here which will supply those two and those two and go straight into the castle. So we have two farms uh, and he's extending the border. He's extending the border there. And also we've got these two Alright, oh, let's see the borders right on the on the enemy's border. There is right there with his building applications. So I don't stop those by building my own guard towers. He'll encroach on my land. So by building I'm hoping to encroach on his. Take that tower. As long as I can attack it, because I'm simply not close enough. Let's try again. Back to the main plot, where we see woodcutters have now successfully chopped down most of the trees. The stonemason has got rid of half of those rocks clearing that land. The uh, blacksmiths are all full steam ahead. The farm is now full steam ahead to supply those mines. And this guard tower is just waiting for a guard. There he is. Extend myself. Here we are at the top of the map. As soon as a guard walks in there, a soldier, there he is. Or do I extend? It just so happens that any neighbouring places on the border, the enemy, will burn. And will burn as well. So now that those two are burning, and they're sufficiently close to the border to send some guys in. The three guard towers. This, these icons show how ready for battle they are. Uh, when they're in fighting mode, waiting mode, or sleeping mode, we can have six of these guys. There's nobody really ready for battle, so let's just uh, let's just select three, the three people that are ready for battle. Obviously, if uh, a guy's sleeping and he's the only one there ready to face battle then obviously don't send him in. So here are the new guys coming out. So when you send a guy into battle it's the four hit rule and these hits are completely random. You hit that guy and he hits you back and whoever gets the four hits in first wins. It's completely random. It's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a dodgy mechanic to be honest, but it's completely at random. So that's about it really. So the key to settle is then is to build close to the main castle. The, uh, have as many blacksmiths as you can, supplied by at least two iron foundries, supplied by at least three coal mines and two um, iron mines, and get those in a line so that the mines are supplied by farms supply the foundries leading into the castle and give it half an hour or an hour and you'll have enough guards to complete the game by sending them all into battle. And that's it. 